Hello beautiful people. As a society, men and women alike have been obsessed with getting a suntan. Struck with this obsession, people are getting exorbitant spa treatments, hitting beaches, and visiting tanning salons, all in the pursuit of increasing their skin's melanin. The buzz about the magic of melanin is all around social media and the internet owing to its protective effects on the skin. Skin color is the parameter that has been used widely to identify human races and ethnicity over the past centuries. Melanin is the reason behind the diversity of skin color that human population has. Besides that, pigment melanin also acts as a protective layer on the skin, protecting it from ultraviolet ray UV, damage. What is melanin? Melanin is a versatile pigment that imparts a characteristic hue to the hair texture, iris of eyes, and skin tone of humans and animals. It is produced by the pigment cells, called melanocytes, present in the skin epidermis, hair, eye, and other body parts. Melanin is produced upon the oxidation of an amino acid called tyrosine. This diversity of exquisite colors that melanin comes in is majorly an offshoot of the genetic makeup of the individual. Melanin can range from dark colors of black and brown to the brilliant yellow and red. Depending on the colors, melanin manifests itself in two forms. Eumelanin is the dark form of melanin commonly present in humans and animals as black, brown, or gray colors. Pheomelanin is the vibrant form of melanin, which when present abundantly gives a red color to the hair, freckles in some races, and a yellowish-red tinge to the feathers of birds. Why is melanin important? Melanin, being the primordial determinant of human races, has been the infamous cause of cruel and indiscriminate acts on humans since ages. However, groundbreaking discoveries in science have unfolded the real purpose of melanin that has enticed people to lie down in their tanning beds. Melanin acts as a natural defense against the damage induced by the harmful UV rays of the sun. UV exposure is an environmental factor that contributes to the initiation of skin cancers such as squamous cell carcinoma, basal cell carcinoma BCC, and malignant melanoma. Melanin is produced as granules in the melanocytes and helps absorb and distribute the light energy from the UV rays, to protect the genetic material in the cells. How is melanin increased in your body? The complex process of melanin production, melanogenesis, is spurred by different factors, which can be influenced to up the levels of melanin in your body. Aside from UV light, several nutrients such as amino acids and vitamins are involved in the production of melanin, which can help to move your skin tone towards the darker side and protect you from the harmful UV rays. Let's briefly review the different inclusions in your routine that can help increase the melanin in your body. 1. Get a tan. The definitive way to rev up your melanin levels is exposing yourself to sunlight. Although lying out taking a sun bask can give your skin a characteristic hue, it increases your risk of developing skin cancer, such as melanoma. Fortunately, there are several products available on the market that can be used as a shield to mask the harmful effects of sun exposure. Exposing your naked skin to the sun 15 minutes a day can help in the production of melanin. You can also choose artificial UV sources such as tanning booths and tanning beds. 2. Incorporate tyrosine-rich foods in your diet. Melanin is formed by the oxidation of the amino acid tyrosine. Additionally, tyrosine also contributes to the production of various neurotransmitters that enable the transmission of nerve impulses. As tyrosine is the precursor of melanin, include foods that contain tyrosine such as eggs, meat, chicken, cheese, turkey, and whole grains to boost the production of melanin in your body. Check the link in the description for the best supplement rich in tyrosine. 3. Consume antioxidant-rich foods. Antioxidants can help boost the production of melanin. Although some studies suggest that antioxidants may help, further research and trials are needed to approve its efficacy. Micronutrients such as polyphenols, flavonoids, and vitamin E are robust antioxidants that can play a role in melanin production. While many of the antioxidants can help develop a color, others may aid in reducing it. Eat vitamin E-rich foods. 
Vitamin E has been commemorated for its role in skin health by way of its antioxidant properties. Get Beta Carotene. Beta Carotene is a precursor to Vitamin A. Vitamin A can help skin cells mature and function properly. 4. Take Tanning Pills. Tanning pills are available over the counter, they can be used to get a tanned look. The active ingredient of such pills is mostly a carotenoid, canthazanthin. Resorting to such pills can help your skin attain an orangish brown color, although this is not advised. 5. Apply commercial sun tanners. Sun tanners are commercial products available on the market that can add a characteristic color to your skin. Such products can be worn to give an illusion of a tan. These come in lotions, creams, gels, or sprays, and the color they provide fades over a period of time. Always prefer sunless tanners that contain dihydroxyacetone DHA. DHA works along the lines of melanin and blocks the harmful effects of the sun's rays. Side effects of excess melanin. Vitamin D deficiency, excess of melanin can lead to vitamin D deficiency. Hyperpigmentation, excess exposure to the sun in a bid to boost your melanin levels can lead to hyperpigmentation, causing dark spots, melasma, and age spots. To conclude, melanin plays a predominant role in giving your skin its unique color and protecting it against the harmful effects of the UV light of the sun. With such protective abilities, melanin has sparked the attraction for a tan skin to combat skin malignancies. You can up your melanin levels by feasting on antioxidant and tyrosine-rich foods and exposing yourself to the sun 15 minutes a day. Wear sunscreen at all times to prevent hyperpigmentation, especially if your skin is prone to sunburns. To avoid the flip side of excess melanin that is the deficiency of vitamin D, keep a check on your vitamin D levels. Thanks for watching today's video. If you find this video helpful give me a big thumbs up. Please, don't forget to comment and subscribe for more videos. Bye and see you in the next video.